Good morning. It's July the 18th. Uh, starting from a different place, I had reason to be down here. I've already walked all the way down here, but I was in a hurry, so I didn't live stream it. So I'll live stream my walk home. It'll be a shorter walk, but starting in the Cornwall Center here, which is closed at the moment, so it's a bit more of an opportunity to show the interior without uh, having a bunch of people in it. It'll open a bit later. I think uh, Shoppers Drug Mart here opens at 9 and everything else opens at 9.30. Just go around the corner, we can take a little tour down the side here. I won't bother going upstairs. But, uh, take a little turn down this way. There's a sculpture down here. They're sort of honoring the Pioneer's sculpture. There's quite a few of those. I looked at one yesterday on the uh, Royal Saskatchewan Museum. There's one on it, side of it. A lot of clothing stores. Hello, Brian, I believe that is. Yes, it'll open in half an hour or so. Here's the bay. Here's the Apple store over here. Hi, sir. Hello. Are you yep, just heading out now. Okay, well, I'm headed out. So I guess I won't go upstairs. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. I'm not allowed to be recording on the walls, sir. Which is why I was doing it before it opened, but oh well, still got caught by the security guard. And we will just walk home from here. Tim Hortons, so there's lots of people in there every morning. H&M over there. And home from here. They're working on the Globe Theater over here, major renovations in the what used to be post office and then became City Hall for a while. There. It's been Globe Theater now for quite a while and they're doing major work in there. This is the Scar Street Mall, which is a pedestrian mall. Some other old buildings here, the Northern Bank, 1905, 1906, I guess it says on it. Oh, the escape room is moving in here. Interesting choice. It'll be in Duncan, another old building. I don't know uh, who will it be in Duncan where. There's a bunch of other stuff in there now. And of course the Twin Towers here. Hill Company. Both those. Pub here, the Fat Badger. The Fafard Bison Sculpture here, Pile of Bones. Good Earth Coffee Shop over there. It's 
speaking of Fafard, there's a Fafard cow there, very famous. You see those at, uh, in uh, Toronto, actually, in the financial district. There's several. We just saw them not too long ago. This is now called Fiaco Plaza, I think. He was the mayor when this was made. This is where the farmer's market is on Wednesdays. it's focused off in the distance. That city hall rising to our left, the tower there. And I'm walking towards the Regina Public Library where 10 years ago now, more than 10 years ago, I was writer in residence. It was a good gig while it lasted. And I was writer in residence at the Saskatoon Public Library in 19 2020 So that was fine right up till March 2020. With two months to go, I suddenly found myself doing it virtually, which actually saved me money since I wasn't driving up and staying in a hotel every week. But still, I would have preferred to have finished it out the way I intended. But uh, one of the people I worked with on that while I was writing residence, Gail M. Smith, is author of uh, Thickwood, which I'm publishing now in Shadowpaw Press this fall. This is a great uh, historical novel set in the parkland area of Saskatchewan. About a young woman who grew up on a horse ranch there, leased land, and uh, her dream has been to come back and take over the lease and raise horses. Meanwhile, she's been in a nicer old office building there. Meanwhile, she's been uh, off in the U.S. playing for the All-American Professional Women's Baseball League. So it combines horses and baseball. Here's the public library. Dunlop Art Gallery is down in there in the film theater. Saskatoon's building a brand new library. I can talk about that here, but it's never happened yet. There's a bit of stonework in there from the original library which may have been in the same location. This is the uh, Masonic Temple coming up to the right. And of course, Victoria Park is over there with the cenotaph at the center of it. I don't often come down this way, so you get a better look at First Baptist Church over there. Heavily damaged in the tornado of 1912, but not as much as Knox Metropolitan here, which uh, had extensive work had to be done after the tornado. A lot of uh, musical performances happened in here, and over there too, to a certain extent. But I, I perform more often in Knox Met. And probably will again, since I'm singing with the Wascana Voices Choir starting this fall. I think they often sing at the Choir Festival, which I haven't sung in years, so... That'd be cool. It's a self-directed, small vocal ensemble. Maybe 15, maybe 20 at the most. I don't think there's 20. 16. A small number. Uh, we'll go this way, because we're not quite ready to change it. Oh, shall we take a take a little walk through the United Church Garden here? Some lovely flowers. Very lush right now. We can go this way too. There's a bird bath. Very nice. This didn't used to be here. I don't know exactly when it went in, but uh, it's been here for a while. But it's still, well, I would go that way, but I can't. And then you get a nice view of uh, along Victoria from here. Of course, there's the Balfour, my favorite apartment building in Regina.
Oop, there's a little bit on this side too. It's a courthouse over there. You can tell because it says courthouse on the side of it. And you got City Hall and the Revenue Canada building there. Which looks a building that looks just as evil as its contents. Yes, I'm often on the other side, so this is actually an opportunity to show some of these buildings on that side a bit more fully than you normally see them. So there's the courthouse. Got the fountain going over here in front of City Hall, I see. Really clever, riding the wrong way down the street there on the bicycle. Guess they got away with it. I guess we're following the mower here for a minute. Nothing runs like a deer. John Deer, that is. Uh, we'll cross here because they got the light. This will only be about a 25 minute walk since I already did this walk once going the other way. I just didn't record it, so. North Canadian Oils building. This was the Salvation Army building at one point. I think there's a law firm in there now. Over there in the back. I kind of walked along Albert coming down for the most part, so I'll stay along here going back at least part of the way. There's the uh, YMCA, old YMCA. It's been closed. The building with all the uh, artwork on the side of it used to be where my dentist was. Not anymore. Hard to get a view of that in its entirety because of the tree, but there you go. And an interesting mural. Dresses up the side of the building. Midwest Claim Services. Yep, yeah, used to be my dentist up on the second floor, I think. Franciscan Place over there. I don't really know what that is. Doesn't have the look of a dwelling, so it must be something else. Oof! Unexpected dip. Okay. I'm not sure why you posted that here, but... the older houses in the neighborhood. There's an interesting porch with the uh, stone on it. I think that's still a house and not an office. Like this one is now offices, even though it's an old house, which is pretty common in this neighborhood. That one looks like it's still a house. 
see the uh, robbers are coming along nicely everywhere right now. I think that's still a house. That definitely is, I would say. Oh, no, it's not a house. See, this one looks like a house. It's not a house at all. That one, I'd say, is. Probably. Oh, this one is not. Or that one. That used to be... No, it was a different street. Hilberg & Burke is a very well-known local uh, jewelry maker. Quite famous. Old apartment building here. We'll carry on this way. Maybe we'll go down the alley to be different. can wait a long time to cross Albert Street at this intersection, so I won't do that. Over on that corner is First Presbyterian Church, where we were married 25 years ago this September. Eh, oh yeah, we'll go down the alley. It's not exactly scenic, but it's different. buildings. I know there's more notes there, but I can't really read them. Not with my current eyesight and in this light. Now that one must be coming down. It's clearly not long for this world. turning in here, but I guess he's parking. If nobody's coming, we'll just cross here. Carry on down this way. So I didn't do my creek walk, which is what I normally do on Mondays today. I'll try to uh, do that later in the week. It's supposed to cool off a bit after today. I'm supposed to go to 31 or 32 today, which is again cooler than Saturday, which was the hottest day at 36. There are thunderstorms in the forecast, but uh, I hope they hold off so they can get some work done on the work that's going on in our backyard. And the rest of the week, the temperatures are high 20s as opposed to 30s, so it makes a difference. Or in Fahrenheit terms, dropping from the 90s into the low 80s. Down the alley here, which will take us through this tunnel. It's just parking under here. Nineteen twenty four it says that building was built for Saskatchewan government telephones. So actually our house is only a couple of years younger than that. It was built in twenty six. So it'll be a hundred years old. Been in the family since 1939. 
And once again, we're back to this familiar corner, Alberton College. One of the buildings designed by Joe Pettick, whom I've mentioned a few times, also did the SAS Power Building down the town. That's a new house. We really like the old house that was there. We knew the person that lived there really well. She died a few years ago, and then the people that bought it tore down her house and built a new one. It actually had a heritage designation of some sort, but they said it was unsavable, unsalvageable. I've been in the new one. It's nice, but the old one had all kinds of character, I'll say that for it for sure. There's the flowers that have been growing on the little divider here. I went by them yesterday, I guess. Not on the sides. Go down the alley today just because I always walk along the present. I rarely walk along the alley. Our friend who lived here worked hard on the neighborhood watch and beautifying this bit of alley in order to try to discourage crime. I'm not sure it worked. She had a beautiful backyard which was much more gardeny than what the current people have in their backyard. Oh well, times change, time changes, time goes on. What's that? I wonder what they were doing. Do we know why they're cutting everything down? No, well, they're planning to tear down everything and yeah, put them something down. If you're going to buy in an area with trees, then you buy for the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll point my camera at it when I go by. Okay. <laughs> so he says they're cutting down all the trees on this lot. This is the old, that was a heritage house, but they couldn't find any, uh, didn't find a buyer for it, so I guess I won't go that way. Well, that's a shame. You'd think if you were, as he said, if you were going to build in this neighborhood, you'd think you'd want to keep the existing trees, because these trees, to get to this size, will take decades if you put in new ones. We knew who lived in that house, but they've been out for a while and there was, you know, some news about it and trying to find a buyer or whatever. Now it's going, obviously, and everything on the lot, apparently. It's always kind of sad. This is my usual alley that I go down if I'm coming back from the lake. So, there's Davin School dead ahead. The person we knew that lived in the house where they're cutting down the trees actually uh, ran the daycare that our daughter attended 
at Devon School called Dragonstone. Because that's their motto, you see, Devon Dragons. Well, at least nobody's cutting down trees down here. We have occasionally lost an elm, usually just because they're old or because of Dutch elm. There's a few gaps in the canopy along here, but mostly it's uh, hanging in there. People always ask about these bands on the trees. They keep uh, insects from crawling up the tree and laying um, eggs, which then turn into caterpillars. We actually have somebody who's uh, looking after ours, so I see they've taken them off now, which I would probably not have thought of, but clearly it was time to do that. Okay, stop here. Thanks for walking with me. I know it was kind of a short walk today, but uh, had its adventures. I got told to stop to get out of the mall if I was going to record. <laughs> Saw trees being cut down. Such excitement. That's it for today. Bye.